It means that your mod is not wearing the belt that it has assigned to it around its waist, which a lot of people don't have on their mods because it's extremely tedious to get the ATPT onto the hex and find a perfect fit for the person that you're modding. And a lot of people release mods without them. And so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it yourself because I've been seeing this question pop up a lot lately uh, in both Humphrey's Discord and in CC Mods, which if you're not in both Discords already, I'll leave links to both Discords in the description below. I encourage you and absolutely urge you to join both Discords. You, it, it will make your experience modding much easier. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. So now you might already think that it's a little hard, but not really not. You just got to find the perfect fit, which is the most annoying part. But doing it in itself is actually really easy. So of course you're gonna need hex editor, you're gonna need an attire, and yeah, let's go ahead and start. Every time you export something from Blender as an attire, it is always gonna reset the ATPT, which basically allows the mod to hold a title around their waist. And every time you export an attire MDL out of Blender, it will completely reset that and you have to assign it manually. Now, one way you can do it is of course by opening cake tools, going to a cake file, and then opening one of these, going through characters, and then just testing each character's uh, attire MDL ATPT out on your own and see if the title fix works on them. Uh, but it's a lot of trial and error that you have to go through. Me, for this one, I'm using a 2K20 port, so I'm just going to be using the 2K20 MDL, and they already come with ATPTs there, so it's a perfect fit. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, of course, you have to check uh, if your attire has the belt fix or not. And one way to do that is you're gonna open up Hex Editor and you're gonna open up the attire MDL just to see if it has it or not. And you're gonna press Control F to find and you're gonna type in MTL. And if it has this uh, line of hex here, and then it has CA right here on the side, then that means it doesn't because there's supposed to be something else there. And that means that you need to put your belt fix on it. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and open an attire MDL that does have a belt fix on it. So in this case, I'm going to be opening up the 2K20 attire MDL. And then you're going to go control F and you're going to search for ATPT. Press OK. And you're going to grab this first byte. I'm pretty sure is what it's called, where ATPT is. And you're going to drag all the way down. I recommend that you pay attention to this right side right here. And you're going to drag all the way down until it becomes a bunch. So I, I don't know really the best way to explain it. So you see how everything's very minimal right here on the right side. Whenever you're scrolling down, there's a lot of dots followed up by a lot of random ass numbers. When it goes to the point where there's not a lot of dots anymore and it's just a lot of numbers like this, like a bunch of numbers and letters, that means that you've gone too far. And you, you go up to where this YYY is and you're basically going up to these bytes right here, 4D, 54, 4C, 21. And you're gonna stop right behind the MTL on the right side. And then all of that, you're gonna right click, you're gonna press copy, then you're going to come to your normal attire that you want to have the belt fix on and then right behind MTL on the right. So right behind it, one byte behind, which would be right behind 4D. You're going to right click and then you're going to press paste insert. That way it looks something like this and then press control S to save and boom, you've just performed your belt fix on it. And then now once you've done that, you can of course test it out in game, baking a folder, characters, and then bake your folder. A few moments later. Alright, so when we go ahead and load up the game and test it out, it should appear with his belt on the entrance now. Because I have him assigned to the AEW World Championship. So on his entrance, he should be wearing it around his waist. And there you go. And from the footage I showed you in the beginning, that showed you this exact entrance not having the belt there. And uh, he was the champion, but now he's the champion and it has the belt there. So, there you go. That's how you do the belt fix on mods. If you did go on to enjoy today's video, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Don't forget to request um, mod tutorials in the comments because I'm telling you I'm running fresh out of ideas. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, go over to CC Mods and Humphrey's Discord. Those are two discords where you should get other mods if they're not from any other place. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.